it and uh, one of the key generals of the national resistance movement miguna miguna is about to address members of the press or has started let's listen in this opportunity to congratulate his excellency president raela amolo Odinga on his historic inauguration at uru park on tuesday this was a significant event that underlined the importance of people's sovereignty and power. The people of Kenya decided to reclaim their power and sovereignty on Tuesday. And we are going to ensure that the power that the illegitimate despots usurped after they rigged the August 8th election is reclaimed back to the people and vests with the people's president. <clears throat> Two, we would like to thank all Kenyans, the multitudes and millions of Kenyans that turned up on Tuesday, January 30th, to witness the historic swearing in of the president of the Republic of Kenya. We thank and honor your solidarity, your courage, your bravery, your patriotism. You demonstrated to the despots that power truly belongs to the people. Power does not vest in a few individuals with weapons who are ready to murder, maim, injure, and destroy the lives of innocent citizens. We did not vote for Uru Kenyatta on August 8th, 2017. And what happened on October 26th was not an election. It was a despotic coronation exercise, which we have rejected. So Matiangi, if you are looking for me to arrest me, to cook up charges, I am ready. I have been ready since I was a teenager. I and others fought Moi and defeated him. You are nothing. Absolutely nothing. Yes. Number three, we wish to condemn unreservedly in the strongest language possible the dictatorial streak and the strong arm tactics that are being employed by the illegitimate Jubilee president called Uru Kenyatta and William Ruto at threatening, intimidating, and suppressing the press. We would like to warn Uru Kenyatta that our rights are not negotiable. We are not going to beg for those rights. They are enshrined, entrenched, and protected in the Constitution of Kenya 2010. And we are not going to negotiate with anybody over them. We are going to exercise our rights without apology, without fear, without reservation. And we want to warn you today that your power is only in the hands of the goons you have armed. You have armed the Mungiki, the few police in uniform. But Kenyans in their millions have said no. We are not going to accept you as the president of Kenya. And starting today, we are ordering NRM, NRM Kenya members and soldiers to take down Uhuru Kenyatta's portraits from all your homes, all your businesses, every premise that you occupy. Take Uhuru Kenyatta's portraits down. We are going to produce legitimate portraits of the President of the Republic of Kenya. And we are going to distribute them ourselves. Let no crook purport to be producing these portraits. Because we are going to do it in an organized fashion. We are also going to organize huge bonfires. Well, we interrupt that press briefing to take you now to the Milimani Law Courts, where our correspondent is having a word with the lawyers of Roraka and PTJ Kajwang, including Honorable Otiende Amolo. Just